Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyle Icewielder and in today's video we are checking out a brand new mount that was released a couple weeks ago. Uh, this mount obviously has something to do with the world Celestia. Um, Celestia was actually an amazing world that was released on October 11th of 2010. Just think about how far along this game has come. So we are currently at a brand new world called Imperia and that came out literally last year which is kind of crazy 2019 was a crazy year um, but when this world was released this was the only world that was released there was no like three part worlds it was just this world and it had so much to do um, so many players had, had been awaiting for a new world after arc 1 this was the beginning of a brand new arc um, just like you know coming up now we're coming into a brand new arc arc 4 uh, this was all about arc 2 with uh, more Ganth. So um, enough of the little story time. <laughs> um, basically what we're here for is to check out a brand new mount that is inspired by um, Celestia. It is a Celestian mount. Um, I love when Wizard 11 does this kind of thing where they actually create things that have something to do with their game. It's not really lore related but it has something to do with you know the history or not really the history but like it has something to do with like their worlds in the game the gear that i'm wearing right now and even the mount um really doesn't have anything to do with any world it was just a winter pack um but when they created a couple packs like for zafaria the zafaria pack or you know stuff like that it just it, it you know makes a little bit more sense when they start making packs like that so hopefully you know sooner or later we will be getting a pack maybe for celestia i think that would be pretty cool don't you guys don't you guys think <laughs> um but anyway so uh let's go ahead and quickly check out this mount so let's go to the crown shop and go to featured um this mount i'm actually going to turn down my volume a little bit is worth 7500 crowns which honestly for a mount that looks this good <laughs> I think I think it's definitely worth it. I, I definitely wouldn't promote a mount that isn't you know that doesn't really make too much sense. The the price might be outrageous and, and everything like that. So um, before we buy it, I just want to show you guys. Um, it's a plus fifty percent mount, which honestly is a great boost already. Uh, a permanent mount. It's called the Celestian Mech. Um, it basically just looks like a giant Titan looking mount. Your and you can see your little head, your, your little head there, <laughs> which I think is kind of funny. So. Um, I just want to show you quickly, um, I already did buy it, I just wanted to kind of show you how much it was worth and, and you know, the speed boost and everything, but if you wanted to check out other mounts that they used to kind of release, for example, I think this was um, one of their most recent ones, it is called the Willow Walker and it is a two person mount, which I think is pretty cool, but it's worth 1500 crowns, which, um, you know, isn't terrible, I guess, but compared to like the mounts that they've been releasing, like this one for spring 3500 this one the new fangle which is 4500 um even the backlighters the one that came out during imperia um they're even 7500 and the speed boost is a little bit higher so for a mount to, that comes out like this looking this good i'm i'm rather surprised so uh, i already like i said did buy it. i do want to kind of put it on show you guys what it looks like run around with it and um yeah so here we are on the brand new mount. Honestly, when I put it on, I could tell the camera view just changed a little bit. Um, I love the particle effects. I might even turn up my particle, wow, my particle effects just to see what it looks like totally. I think it's kind of funny with the with the little head popping out there. I do also like how you can see your neck as well. It's kind of kind of interesting. Um, I've been talking a lot, waiting for it to like do the little idle animation. Although, look at the 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 effects. Ooh. Ooh, he's got a little fighting. Ooh. Okay, I like that. All right, let's do the little jump. Oh, wow, you do a whole front flip. Wait, do you guys see the little particle effects? What do they do? I want to turn up the um the particle effects real quick just to see, like, what exactly it's doing. So, hopefully it's not making my game lag. I do want to mention those particle effects in, like, the legs. Like, keeping all the legs together and everything. Which, by the way, is a brilliant idea. But, um, it looks really, really good. So, let's go ahead and do that front flip again. That's really cool. So, when you jump, I feel like it, it's kind of, like, using some sort of energy to, like, enhance your jump. So, when you jump, you do a whole front flip. I think it's really cool. Um, so, I'm going to turn down my particle effects just so I, I don't lag too much. Alright, so let's do the run. Holy guacamole look at that run why are you running so fast i feel like okay so one thing that i do have a problem with <laughs> um with the mount already is do you see how that little guy's walking 
Um, the way he's walking kind of goes with the, the speed that he's actually moving. Um, granted, you are moving plus 50%, but I feel like we should not be running this fast. Like, the animation should not be running this fast. Maybe longer strides might make it look a little bit better, but I feel like sometimes they need to, like, kind of take a step back after they make um, an animation and, and they, you know, review it. They should really take a step back, because, like, every step that he takes kind of, like, makes sense with his speed. Right now, I do not look like I'm making that much sense. I mean, like, I kind of do, but, like, I don't. Um, I feel like maybe longer strides, like I said, would, would help. Yeah, I feel like all of his movements are kind of, like, jolty. Like, they don't really make much sense. That's one thing I like about, like, my, my Wolf of Wintermount is, like, every every move that he makes kind of flows with what he's doing. Like, it doesn't even look like he's, you know, an artificial mount. Like, it just looks like he's part of my character. So the backup is... I don't want to say it's even worse, but it's kind of even worse. Like, it looks like he's just, like, moonwalking, which isn't terrible. Like, I feel like sometimes you need kind of quirky things like this, so this one's kind of okay. But this one's just kind of outrageous. The turn here is a little bit weird. Um, I do have to say, though, the mount looks beautiful. I think the effects are amazing. The only thing I would say I have a problem with is, of course, all this little stuff. Um... I have seen so many people buying this mount. Um, a lot of people have said that it's totally worth it. I haven't seen any like bad reviews except for maybe the price, which I think is kind of outrageous. I don't, I don't think the price is even the problem. I think the main problem would just be like the movement a little bit. Because um, for the speed, I like the speed. I just don't like the the animation, I guess. I guess that's all I have to say. But other than that, I mean, if I had to rate this mount, you know, from like 1 to 10, I'd probably give it an 8.5, you know, hovering around a 9, um, because it's a really good mount. It looks beautiful. I'm really more into looks rather than how, like, it looks while it's moving. Um, but, like, do you see this? <laughs> I look like some Super Saiyan person, like... <laughs> like, it looks so weird. Um... But the backup's okay. The turn's kind of alright. It, it kind of works. Um, it just bothers me. Like, it looks kind of glitchy when I'm moving. Not glitchy as in, like, it like, glitches my computer when I'm moving. It just looks kind of, like, choppy when I'm when I'm turning or moving around too much. It looks a little, a little weird. It doesn't it doesn't flow with, with how the speed is or how the character kind of moves around. I don't know if I'm making sense. I hope I'm, I'm making sense. I don't want to say this mount's garbage because it's definitely not garbage, so don't take that into consideration. But definitely understand that I do have some issues with the mount, and, you know, for the, you know, you know, for for the hype that I, I think it was bringing up, I think a lot of people were kind of avoiding that. So I do want to say that this mount is really, really good. Like I said, I'd give it an 8.5 out of 10 or 9, you know. I think it's really, really good. Um, I think it's a definitely a good step in the right direction. I think it looks gorgeous. Like, look at this, the, the textures and the effects. I mean, actually, look at the effects, too. Those effects are honestly gorgeous. But I think that's really all I have to say for this mount. Um, I definitely, I think I, I looked at everything. I looked at the jump, the backup, the walking forward, the spinning, um, the idle animation. I think that's really it. <laughs> I think that's it, right? Um... But yeah, so like I said, I really do like the inspired, like, um, packs and mounts that they've been creating, um, based around their worlds. I think it really adds to their, to their game a lot. Um, of course, we're all, uh, awaiting a brand new world. Of course, when a brand new world comes out, I'm going to be making so much Wiz content. I do apologize if you guys have been, um, awaiting some Wiz content, and I haven't been doing that. I've been, do uh, of course, doing Minecraft Dungeons lately, and I, I am thinking of branching off even more into just Minecraft. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Um, if you guys stuck around this long to the end of the video, I really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Um, if you guys are new, you know, this game is amazing, Wizard 101. Uh, let me know what you guys would like to see. Um, uh, but other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed this brand new video. Um, do not forget to like, comment, and of course, subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. Do not forget to turn on the post notifications. It'll notify you whenever I post a brand new video. And with all of that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>